Hey there folks and welcome back. In this video I'd like to stay here in the mapping window but go ahead and focus on the velocity control section. Now this section is really going to be handy if you need to customize either a kit piece or specific articulation response to your hardware or your playing style. By editing the threshold and limit, you can resolve issues that you might have with your e-drums or your external controller, such as correcting a pad which might be too sensitive or not sensitive enough. But ultimately, it's up to you how you utilize this section. Now, just a basic geography lesson on it. You can adjust values by sliding the faders or by double-clicking and manually entering a number. As you'll see here as well, you can grab these squares, also known as handles, click and drag them. And once you decide you've created a setting that you're happy with, you may want to go ahead and save it. Simply go ahead and click the drop down arrow right there and go to save as. And then this is where you'll find your user preset at a later time. Now, should you decide you do not like your results, you can always reset it. There is an option right here for reverse, which will reverse the settings, as you can see. And above the drop down menu, there is a blue light. By cutting this light on or off, you are in fact engaging or disengaging the velocity controls for the selected instrument and articulation. Down here at the bottom, there is an option to have a gate on or off. And with the gate option engaged, you'll pretty much weed out any hits below your desired value. But what do all these things do? Well, I feel like it's going to be easier just to show you. And I'm going to go ahead and utilize the advanced note and node preview tool to do so. Now, let me let you hear what we're working with. Just a straight kick drum, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring the velocity curve to the center. And as you're going to see, we're no longer going to have soft hits per se. They're all going to be a medium gradient type of hit and a harder. See that there? I can do the same thing by bringing down the higher velocity here to act as a medium or gradient hit as well. Check it out. No matter where I click, I'm getting a relatively gradient type of hit. Now, of course, if I wanted to, I could bring them all up here and let's do this here. Now, my softer hits are going to seem louder than the harder hits. Check it out. See that there? As opposed to having a harder velocity, they're now acting as a softer velocity. And a really good way to go ahead and illustrate this is to reverse them like that there. And whereas we used to hear softer hits down here towards the left, those are now the harder hits with the softer ones being towards the right. You see? Let's go ahead and reset it. Let's go ahead and mess around with the sliders here on the x-axis and see what happens there. As you can hear, everything's pretty much normal. However, let's go ahead and pull this to uh, 65 right there. And now, it's going to say at a softer velocity for a longer period of time because we have told Superior that any velocity values between 1 and 65 are to be treated as a soft hit. See that there? But if you keep your eye right here on my velocity display, as soon as we get over that 65 mark, we're going to start hearing the transition and things are going to get heavier. All right, here we come up on the 65 mark. And then now things are going to start getting heavier. And I can exaggerate this even more by bringing it up to 95. Let's see what happens whenever we do it now. We'll get soft hits all the way up to that 95 mark, and then it's going to get really hard. Check it out. Really fast. See that there? There's a quick jump in velocity. Okay, and likewise, I can do the same by bringing down the high fader as well. Let me go ahead and press control and click or command click if you're on a Mac. And now let's go ahead and bring the high limit down by clicking and dragging. And we'll bring it down. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it to 69. And now things are going to be soft from 0 to 20. And then we're going to hear a transition from 20 to 69. And then after 69, it's all going to be 
at a velocity of 127. Watch this. Coming up on 20. And now we're going to hear a pretty good increase. See that there? It's acting pretty quick. And then once we hit 70, it's going to all be at a velocity of 127. See that there? And now no matter where I slide in between 69 and 127, as far as velocity, it's all going to sound at 127. Okay? Once again, let's go ahead and press Command and click or Control click to get that back to its original position. And let's go ahead and see what the out slider will do. Let's go ahead and bring the low limit up to 50 right here. And let's see what happens. See that there? We're really not hearing much of a difference in between 0 and 50. But once we get over 50, we'll start hearing that transition happen. Okay, and likewise, if we were to bring this down, then everything from 73 to 127 will act as a medium type of gradient hit. See, watch, we're at 50, and now we'll get to 72, and then it's all gonna stay the same. See that there? There's no difference. But whenever you use both of these together, you can really customize those e-drums to react to your playing. And you're not limited just to using the e-drums, of course. This can also help if your keyboard isn't as sensitive as you would like it to be, or the opposite, or if you have a, a trigger finger or something that is a little too harsh with the velocities, this could really help. But now, what about the gate? Well, let's go ahead and bring this low limit up, and I'm exaggerate this just to kind of give you an example. Now, whenever I engage the gate, we're not going to hear any notes being output that have a velocity of 0 to 59, okay? But then once we pass over that 59 mark, they're going to pop out at us. Watch. Keep your eye right here on the display, okay? Here we come to 59. There it is, 59. And now we hear it. Get below 59, you don't hear anything because it's being gated, okay? And there you go. But now what happens if we bring down the high limit? Well, looking at this graphical representation right here, it looks like as soon as we get to that 59 mark, it's just gonna more or less level out. Check it out, we're not gonna hear anything. We're at 30, 40, here we're coming up on 50, now we're at 59 right now, and there it is. And then as soon as we hit 71, it's gonna be steady. And we're not gonna hear any difference in between a value of 71 all the way up to 127 you see but it is a great tool to have especially if you want to customize superior's reaction to your playing style but i hope that shed some light on the velocity control section now i want y'all to stick around because in the next video we're going to go ahead and start talking about midi nodes all right thanks so much i appreciate your time and i'll see you in a minute Bye bye